Oh, hey everybody, this is Pastor Phil with our family pastor, Matt Clark. Matt Clark, and we're filming a special podcast. Matt and I are going to have a conversation so that we can update all of you in our church about what's happening with the next building campaign. It's yes. been a wild ride. It has been. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little bit of background information. Of course, Matt, you remember when we started this thing. It was actually pre-COVID that we started talking about building a building. Right. We were, I mean, there was some really good momentum that was happening. Right. And uh, so we started kind of looking at things going. Yeah. And then COVID happened. Yeah. And then when COVID kind of dwindled out, we said, okay, let's get back to it. We did a building campaign called Next. Mm -hmm. um, that was in 2022. Tell us why we called it Next. I have no idea. I'm still trying to... <laughs> Um, then, well, we're looking at for the next generation, for future generations, as we look at thriving churches, we understand that uh, the next generation or younger kids have to be a part of that. And so we want to make sure that we're preparing and ready for those kids. Yeah. And so part of that is looking at the building, you know, on behalf of them. Right. And what we were going to do basically was we, we had sort of two objectives. Essentially, we wanted to create more classroom space for the children right. because we've got tons of those. And even right now we're kind of overflowing. And then we also wanted to create more foyer space because as we come into our church, you know, our building's a little old and it's kind of cramped in there. It's hard to have a conversation and build relationships when you're, you know, especially if something's happening in the main yeah. room, you're shoved out into it, a little it, tiny You just foyer. sort of get carried out by the, the force of people leaving the church. Yeah. And just, yeah. But anyway, and so we started working with an architect. We made it. We had a design. We were uh, excited about it. And then things started to change in our culture. We're talking late 2022, early 2023. Interest rates started rising. I want to share this screen with our uh, audience uh, because I shared this at our last partner meeting. Yeah. Just to show what happened. You know, we started... Uh, the campaign down here, interest was at 3.5%. You guys probably remember. It feels like a dream, right? Good old days. <laughs> the good old <laughs> days. And when we uh, were meeting with our partners at the end of 2023, interest rates were all the way up here at 8.5. And so what we told our partners at the end of 2023 was, we got to put this on hold because the interest rates are too high for us to borrow enough money to complete this project. Right. Now and think, some and some building costs. Oh, building costs went up. Went up as well. Yeah. So both of those combined. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So we hit the pause button. The team was still working. The steam. The team was still preparing and, and and figuring out what to do. And we came up with a new idea. Yes. That was cheaper. Would satisfy both of those um, requirements for more space for the children and and for the foyer and well give us another huge benefit that we didn't really think about well and and let's let's back up if because we didn't hit this we were talking about when we were looking at the building and looking at growth and all this kind of stuff the other part was the fact that our building kind of looks like a funeral home oh uh, that's true and yeah, so we we, that, we yeah. wanted to make sure that the, it had a facade or a, a better look to it so yes. because what happens is from the road, people see it and go, that's an old church. I don't know if they're with it. They True. come inside and they go, oh, wow, the inside, yeah. which is always good. God sees the inside. He sees the heart. Rather yes, than we're a living judging. example. We're then judging. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but unfortunately, people don't always do that. So they, yeah. they may judge and go by. But then lots of people come in the building and go, oh, I had no idea. This is great. Yeah. Uh, this is, looks great. You're right. I'm glad you mentioned that because part of the whole other project was just giving the place a facelift right. and uh, I don't have any graphics of what we had designed but we shared those with the church and right. they looked amazing and it looked like a brand new it was like a facelift yeah yeah, yeah 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 so thank you for mentioning that so this new idea was brought to us by our um, our contracting firm um, Ryan, Ryan Hoffman, Hoffman. Yep. Adam and Hoffman Associates they build yeah, yeah. luxury homes his idea was rather than do the construction like we were talking about, which was essentially we're going to take the roof off of the existing building. Matter of fact, I can bring that up. Let me let me let me bring that one up so you guys can see what I'm talking about a little bit here. All right, if you look here, this is the current building uh, here, 
And what we were going to do is we were going to take essentially the roof off of this. Well, and it was actually going to be uh, expanded this yeah. way and this well, way. Well, I'm, I'm getting to that. Yeah, 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 okay. So what we were going to do is basically go out this way. Let me get a better color for you guys to see. We're going to basically kind of go out this way and go out this way with the building. So right. we had more foyer space here, more uh, children's area here, and this whole thing was going to be looking new and fantastic. So... That, though, that kind of construction was actually very expensive. So the idea that he came to us with is, why not build a steel building in between the two buildings? That building would become the new auditorium. Right. It would give us the foyer space. It would give us the facelift. And it would make this entire building here available for all children and family all ministry. All family ministry. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's also a separate building so the cost of adding on to a physical building is greater than if you built beside it. I know it seems weird, though, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like, no, we're just going to modify this you, thing, you but can, it's more complex. We, we're still going to connect them, but it's it's a different ball game when you have to go into the current building and right. break walls down. And I think there were some permitting challenges with that, right. too. Now, the thing about the steel building that's interesting, and you guys have probably seen some of these, um, it is a prefab building, right? which means it's inexpensive like you can order a building 6500 square feet you pour the slab and then they bring it out kind of like an erector set and there's like right. you know to trusses they just they put them together and the building is built in four days now that's just the shell of it obviously. right right but we're looking at building that for something like a hundred thousand dollars or hundred and twenty thousand dollars the shell of it and then outfitting it inside as a new sanctuary Right. And then spending the remaining amount of money just redesigning the current building to fit the family and children's ministry. And and mind you, the cost of steel happened to go down during all this stuff that was going up. Yeah. That was the other benefit was steel went down. And yeah. so we're like, well, let's instead of yeah. a wood framed right. you know, whatever, you let's do a steel yeah. building. So that was why another uh a factor in that. Yeah, so it's kind of, we think we can get the whole thing done for $700,000. Now, what's interesting is the original plan for us was about, mm -hmm. we were going to, it was about $1.1 million. Yeah. And then, of course, with the interest, it was difficult. Now, the interest rates have fallen. They're at about seven right now, six and a half, seven. And we've raised from the capital campaign about, I think, Three hundred and eighty-five thousand, okay. something like that, yeah. right? And we have about three hundred and twenty-five in cash to spend. So we're going to borrow about four hundred thousand dollars, which is doable for us, and that will allow us to build the new auditorium right. with about two hundred and eighty seats, I think. So there's an expansion there, anywhere between two hundred and fifty and two hundred and eighty, yeah, within that range. Higher ceiling. And then you get to have the whole building to do whatever is <laughs> possible. So let me just show everybody real quick where we're talking. Let's go back to this map here. And so you can see this is an overview of the property. Uh, this building here is where we're actually recording this now. That's the annex. That's our church offices. Of course, this is the regular building. We have enough room to put that... It's going to be over further? Yeah, probably about where the word rebirth is. Because remember, the playground in there. Okay, so we're we're looking at something like this, yeah. roughly. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to put that in right there. And so now you got better visibility from the road. Okay, and I can actually pull up the plan so you can kind of see what we're looking at. And maybe, Matt, you can walk us. I'm going to hand over the uh, tech to you. Maybe you can walk us through a little bit of what we're seeing here Absolutely. in real time. And and this, by the way, isn't finalized. And Matt might show you some of the changes because I know you just had a meeting with the architect yesterday. But give us a little Correct. overview. So when you're looking at this, obviously this is uh, the the old building re redone, but this is incorrect in in its final. So it will it will change. And this then of the course concept. Right, concept. And then this is this is obviously the, the new facility, the, the steel building that we put down, and we just went through and did all the tweaks for this. So 
for instance, our stage is a, it needs, needed to be a little bit bigger. It's not enough space for there. Um, uh, there is uh, spots for a, a, the video team that will work back there. We've also placed our soundboard uh, back here and, and bumped the foyer in a little bit. And then there's going to be some additional storage and cry room. And then we ended up putting some things like uh, coffee and communion prep on the ends yeah. Uh, for our teams to be able to do that. So we've got restrooms in the corner. Uh, you'll be able to, you know, enter in into our foyer here, which will have some coffee spots and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, explain to us, so what's happening in the middle between these two buildings? Yeah, so if some of you may remember that we had this portico concept outside area, and it was this beautiful kind of wood. Uh, it's all solid, so it doesn't won't rain on us, but... It had this beautiful layout that basically this is all outside under under uh, portico with you know fans underneath there mm. and those kind of things and then uh, tables and seating so you'll be able to have tables and all that kind of stuff yeah. all throughout here. So, so how do you enter? You, oh, you're going to enter in. here, uh, and you'll be able to enter in here and go into the uh, main uh, auditorium or enter here and go into the kids area. Uh, all of these will be windows and windows so you can see. Uh, each other and then the the fun part is this is got a little tiny gate that you can get through and this is where the kids playground will be yeah that was a big deal because we promised a lot of kids that we would have a playground we would have a revolt of children what's beautiful about this is before church and after church you have this opportunity for people to hang out have conversations in there their kids can play on the playground it's kind of blocked off so they can't escape um, and I think really it's, it's the fact that we had to hit the pause button is almost better because I, I like this option better and it's cheaper. Yeah. Well, uh, like you said, we have the, the visibility of all this to see the body of Christ hanging out. Now, obviously mm-hmm. this is not air conditioned, but in a yeah. lot of times, besides right now, it's pretty hot, but there is opportunity for us to be out there with fans and just having yeah. social time. But we still have this, by the way, is is much bigger than our current foyer. Right. So we still have more foyer. I mean, our foyer may be, it may be like this in comparison. Correct. Um, yeah, that's almost three times the so size. So it's, yeah. it's probably, it's actually probably more like twice the size, maybe yeah. not three times, but it is, uh, it is larger. Plus, when you go over into the kids area, again, this is rearranged a little bit, but there's a little bit of foyer area over here for families to hang out to uh, to watch their kids as well. So you could be in air conditioned on both sides uh, if you if it was bad weather. Yeah. So I think what's interesting is where we are now, and and um, it's been so crazy, and it's been kind of a challenge to update everybody, you know. And, and people have been so faithful uh, with their giving. Like, yeah. Uh, I think we ra- uh, our committed number was 492,000. Um, we raised about well just under 400. Actually probably probably about 400 because some of the n- money came in actually even before we started the campaign. But right. Um, we um, kind of need to figure out wh- I want to let everybody know where we are now, like what's happening next. And I have a slide that I can kind of pull up I think to uh, and to share that. I don't know if you're Sharing well, that's the that's the timeline. But that some 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 of you have not weren't a part of the original campaign, right, right, and that you're now jumping into the church. We've got a lot of new families, and and this is also an opportunity for you to be able to be a part of and jump in and and be a part of the oh, campaign yeah. as well. You're saying that people can donate money towards this still, Correct. but the, the it's not closed. It's not closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Act now. No, it's yeah. it's still available. Uh, that we would love uh, for any new families, if they so yeah. choose, yeah. that they can be a part of, of, of that uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, um, obviously, the more money that we're able to raise, the less money we have to, to borrow, borrow. Which, is, which is good. But let me just go over this quick timeline. So right now, by the end of September, we are planning to have um, the final architect plans. We just... Went, we had a meeting literally yesterday about the auditorium and did the final tweaks. Yeah. And that will, uh, in the family ministry one, we're working on the final tweaks for that. So the goal is to try and get both of those wrapped up 
in the next couple of weeks so that yeah can, this is this is the the timeline that is ideal obviously yeah, yeah. there's always bumps in the road and on in october we are hoping to have the permits now this takes a few months as we understand two, yeah roughly two months uh yeah. that that R ryan was able to expedite some things because i can't remember the details but instead of going through one path he's able to go another path and still get uh, yeah lots of yeah uh, all the permits done and as i understand maybe a little easier because of the way we're building right right okay Correct. Um, then November, we would um, get our funding. I've been on the phone with uh, Christian Financial Resources. That's the organization that helped plant our church. They're the ones that sold us this property. Mm -hmm. They want us to have this upgrade. They love this new idea more than the old idea. Right. Because um, a new auditorium will bring in more people. I just want to sort of point out, though, this project isn't really about the new auditorium. It really right. is about those primary objectives we had, which was more space for children, more foyer and sort of the facelift. Right. But this kind of gives us all of that and yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. And then, now this is really tentative, but we're hoping to break ground then in January. Yeah. And then the building process, I don't know, did he mention put potential I, how long it would I take? I want to say that for the, the auditorium, now the... Obviously, we have to kind of build the auditorium first right. so that everyone can move out of the, the current facility, and then we would start working on the kids. So I think he was five to six months from that point that all that structure and yeah. everything would be kind of be done yeah. uh, so we can move over to there. Uh, that would potentially put it in the middle of summer next year, yeah. uh, 2025, that we're in the new building, and uh, again, based on the timeline and permits and you know those kind of things then uh then we would start piece by piece probably go into the current auditorium rework that side for children's ministry yeah put all the kids in there and then flip yeah. it what's nice too is this is a this is a little more scalable and it allows us to do some of the work inside of the main auditorium and or excuse me yeah, in yeah. the current building and even the main auditorium like we have a lot of really skillful people so if we're talking about putting up some walls moving some doors around i mean there's some things yeah, yeah. that we'll have contractors certain for, cabinetry but, and, yeah. and and adding some fun stuff like we do already infuse now we make different shapes we're adding a corner spot all that we can kind of yeah we have the ability to do and it, 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 it cuts a little bit of the cost as well and hopefully in September, we'll have some renderings, some sort of 3D photos so people kind of look at what's this, you know, some people are like steel building. That sounds like, what's it look like a barn? No, yeah, they yeah. actually yeah. can make them look pretty nice. And you'd be surprised a lot of buildings you go into now you are no actually idea. steel buildings. It's a steel you, building. It's just got a yeah. facade on it. The yeah. front of it looks like something else. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I think this is good. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, I think... Everybody, if you if you can, I mean, what we can encourage people to do is uh, be patient. Number one, because we're trying to. This is hard for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes. struggling to be patient with it, but there's something to learn in that. Number one, I think two is flexibility. You know, uh, we appreciate how much people have donated and how much they've invested into this, and but we still have to be flexible because. The economy is changing. It's going right. up and down. We don't exactly know. I mean, I think we could admit this has been about the last, these th last three years, about the craziest three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I don't know if it's, I don't know what's, if it's going to get yeah. better or worse. I don't know. And um, so flexibility. And then just be in prayer Yes. for this. As we're right now, like, bursting at the seams with kids and making moves to move kids into different rooms because yeah. we don't have enough room. This is a good thing. This is... What we need. This is right. what God's plan. Right. So be praying for the next generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and all those that are currently working in there and and doing their part and serving and yeah, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome. I was gonna say so. Like, if anybody has any questions, the best way to get in touch with um, with us. I'm gonna put our email addresses here. Oh, I've run out of room. And then mine, obviously, too, is the same yeah. as that. Feel free to reach out if you have questions or to grab us on Sunday. Um, we want to be as transparent with 
practice as, as we can. Yeah, well, and the beauty is that while it has not worked according to our plan, we also know that God has sees the bigger picture, and it may have worked out this way so that it's even better, like the, the layout, and we still have this beautiful outside portico was in, became important to us. We didn't realize in the very beginning that an outside venue yeah. would be, but it, it now it's kind of a, it's the hub that's connecting yeah. both sides. Yeah. And so it's kind of working out a little bit better. Financially, it may be a little bit better, yeah. and, and who knows? Maybe there's another little fun thing that God will throw in there, too. <laughs> if it's his will, it will happen. Okay. <laughs> well, I think this is a good place to end off. I'll just look back here at the camera. Thank you guys for joining us, and thank you to Madison, who's here running all of our tech, which we certainly Ooh. appreciate. You can't see her, but say hi to everybody. Okay, as <laughs> you run all our tech, we appreciate that. And uh, hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you guys.